guys tonight's quick dinner i tell you what i'm getting paranoid i just hope this is recording and i'm not talking to myself tonight and it's not coming out anyway this is what i'm having for dinner tonight I know a lot of you are gonna go Ugh. but there you go i went into tesco's got that nice bit of liver and bacon and onions and gravy i'm gonna do it with some mashed potatoes and cabbage nice easy one guys there it is check that out that is my liver bacon and onions with mashed potato and cabbage look at that but that's it guys that is my dinner for tonight this looks do you know what lucy's just looked at this and she said she could eat it herself no, <laughs> no i'm the only one that eat liver and onion and bacons oh look at that mm. Mm. that is absolutely gorgeous i've got gravy on my mouth no guys that is lovely it's nice to have i mean i'm not a big big fan of it i couldn't eat it every other week or every month but it's nice to have occasionally what is for dinner tonight a little concoction i'm making up something i've had a little i was gonna say fetish then blimey calm yourself down craving for anyway um i'm gonna do a pesto chicken and ham pasta with ricotto cheese bit of onion in it fresh garlic and chuck what else in it here's the ingredients i'm using so i've got a couple of chicken breasts got me onions got a pack of honey roast ham ricotta cheese i've got a red pepper i've got some oregano mixed herbs i'm gonna have a bit of italian cheese in it i love this um, hard Italian grated cheese. It's nice on spaghetti bolognese. Got a garlic. Got a bit of pasta. And me pesto. Right, let's get cooking and see what it turns out like. Right, so I've sweated off half an onion, two garlic cloves. Got the chicken in there um, with some mixed herb oregano. And I'm roasting half of the pepper because I like them roasted. So we'll cook all that off and then start adding the rest. Right, so I've cooked all the chicken, peppers, onion and garlic off. I've cooked some pasta off. Just gonna add a couple of spoons of pesto now. Oh, definitely gotta have another one in there. Right, time for the ricotta cheese. We'll have a small sprinkle of cheddar cheese in there as well. Oh, ho, ho, this is going to be nice. Okay, so it's all done. So there is my chicken and ham ricotta cheese pasta for tonight. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, the girls are back from taking the dog for a walk. You know how noisy they are. Let's see what this is like. Look at that. Mmm. Guys. This is absolutely gorgeous. I can taste the pesto and I can taste the bits of garlic in there as well. Beautiful. Mmm. Absolutely gorgeous. Lou, what's been to my dinner? What? What's been to my dinner? What is it? It's um, pasta with bacon, chicken, pesto, and ricotta cheese. No, that's nice. That's nice. It's gorgeous. There you go, guys. Anyway, I'm going to finish this and I'll catch you for tomorrow's meal of the week. I've just got home from work and I don't know. I'm hoping this is going to be a quick one. I'm going to do, I'm having jack potatoes with tuna and mayonnaise and sweet corn. I'm going to put the uh, jack potatoes in the microwave for about 20 minutes and then finish them off in the oven. Here's my ingredients. So I've got some jack potatoes. I've got some tuna chunks in sunflower oil and some sweet corn. So I'm just gonna add that with a bit of sunflower. Um, so I'm gonna add that with just a bit of mayonnaise and salad cream. Right, let's get cracking. Right guys, I'm patiently waiting for the jacket potato. So I've got tuna, sweet corn, mayonnaise and salad cream mixed together there. A Little bit of salad. So hopefully potatoes won't be too long. There you go guys, that is my quick meal tonight. Actually it didn't take too long. I'm quite impressed actually. Potatoes are done lovely, uh, full of nice bit of butter, 
and the tuna and mayonnaise with sweet corn. Yes, I've got three. I'm starving. Guys, this is a nice winter warmer, as they say. Mmm. Oh, guys, check this out. That is lovely. Look at that with lashings of butter inside. That is absolutely gorgeous. And I'll catch you tomorrow for another dinner of the week. Bye. All right, it's dinner. I was thinking of it driving home from work and I'm thinking, hmm, what should I have tonight? I've got a bit of chicken I took out of the freezer. I'm having an Indian on Saturday, so I thought, hmm, I'm not gonna have a curry. So we're gonna go for stir fry. Here's what I've got. So there's me a bit of chicken. I've got a mixed pepper stir fry kit, some egg noodles. I've got a sweet chilli and garlic uh, stir fry sauce. Got me soy sauce. I've got these spring onions, what I had the other day, and some tomatoes. I thought I'm going to add them as well. Bit of garlic to cook the chicken in. And I've got a tomato and garlic flatbread. So that should be a nice quick dinner for tonight. So I'm cooking the chicken now with a bit of soy sauce on it, garlic and oregano, and it smells lovely. Right, so I've added me stir fry veg, some noodles, some chopped spring onions, tomatoes, what I had left over to get rid of, a bit of soy sauce in there, love it. Right, look at that nice fresh spring onions I've added, tomatoes, love it. Right, there you go guys, there is my sweet chilli and garlic stir fry with tomato and garlic flatbread. Mm, I tell you what, I'm gonna tell you something in a minute. I actually timed it and it took exactly 14 minutes from when I filmed it showing you guys to when I've cooked it to when I'm eating it. Now that is a quick meal of the week. Right, let's see what it tastes like. Mm. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Let's see what this tomato and garlic flatbread tastes like from Asda. Mmm. That is actually quite nice. Let me just show you the bits of chicken, what I cooked in the garlic, um, oregano, and soy sauce. Look at that. That is lovely. Mmm. Anyway guys, I'm going to eat this now and uh, I'll catch you for tomorrow's quick meals of the week. It's Friday night, whoa! And my last quick meal of the week is a quick one because I got it out of the freezer because I'm buying another turkey tomorrow so I need the space. Here's what I've got. So I got this uh, well, about a week ago. Spinach and ricotta, cannelloni, I'm going to have that. If there's any salad in the fridge with a bit of salad and this, um, I can't remember what this is. I know it's a tom oh, tomato garlic flatbread. Right, let's get them in the oven. I'm not too sure about this dinner. <laughs> I tell you, honestly, I'm not too sure about it. I know it's quick and it's the end of the week and I want me dinner quickly, but I'm not too sure. Here, have a look. Right, so there's my spinach and ricotta cannelloni with my uh, cheesy tomato flatbread. I don't know. It doesn't look very appetizing, guys. I know it's pack it straight out the oven. Charlie, would you eat it? Mm, Charlie said he's not that impressed. I've got a spoon for it. You see what it's like. No meat. If I have a cannelloni, it's got to have meat. Obviously, I didn't look at the uh, packet when I bought it. Let's have a look here. It smells, it smells quite nice. I can smell the ricotta cheese. It's all right. It's not bad. It's all right, guys. It, it will do for a quick dinner after work. It's not too bad. Not as though I'd highly recommend it, but it's okay. I don't know if some people are into all this without no meat and all that. I like my meat. It's a bit boring and bland without your meat, but a lot of people don't like the meat, guys, so they'd probably like this. But it's all right. It's a quick meal. I've just thrown it in the oven, so it will do. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing about my meals of the week next week because it's going to be flat out um, working. I know we're going to be really busy since it's the last week. I'm actually breaking up on Thursday. 
one mad last dash on Christmas Eve. I'm get, gonna get all the food shopping. And guys, this year, I have come up with a brilliant idea. I am gonna do, guess, my Christmas Day food shop. So, so far, I've got two turkeys, gammon, beef, um, all my pickles, blah, 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 everything else. I am gonna do, guess the price, and the winning prize is going to be £33. Now you're going to say, why is it £33? That is weird. I'm going to send a £33 voucher, Tesco's or any supermarket, or even PayPal. And the reason it's going to be £33 is because that's Max Verstappen's car number, 33. Even though he's going to number one next year. But there you go. So I'm going to do a competition. Look out for that. That is going on Friday yeah, Christmas Eve, next Friday, guys. So I'll be sticking that on, and I'm going to give you guys a chance to guess the closest to the price, and you win 33 quid. Right, I'm going to finish this off, and I'll catch you probably tomorrow at the weekend, because I'm out Christmas shopping and be vlogging. Bye.